Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the outermost layers of a bacterial cell. So the first layer which we are going to discuss is known as glycocalyx. So what is glycocalyx? Glycocalyx is basically the outermost mucilage layer. As we can see in this picture, the reddish layer which we can see, this is the glycocalyx. Glycocalyx. So this is the outermost layer of a bacterial cell. Now these layer, they are mostly non-cellulosic polysaccharides and they have, they may or may not have associated proteins within itself. Now glycocalyx, if these layers of glycocalyx, they are present in the form of loose sheath, they are known as slime layers. Whereas if glycocalyx is present as very thick, tough mucilage layer, then they are known as capsules. So capsules are very important in providing protection to the bacterial cells. Also importantly, glycocalyx gives a sticky appearance to these cells. Now let us talk about some of the important functions of glycocalyx. Glycocalyx is a layer which is not very essential for the survival of the cells, but they provide secondary functions. So what do we mean by secondary functions? Secondary functions means they are not essential for the survival, but they give additional advantages to the cells. Now, so what are those secondary functions? First of all, they prevent desiccation. Desiccation means the drying up of the cells. We know if cells dry up, so they will die. So these glycocalyx layer, they prevent the death of the cell by preventing the process of desiccation. They provide protection from phagocytes. So what are phagocytes? Phagocytes are cells which have the capability to eat up these bacterial cells. So they can uh, lyse the bacterial cells, they can kill these bacterial cells. So glycocalyx actually provides protection from these type of phagocytes. It also provides protection from viruses. So there are viruses which, which are known as bacteriophage which have the capability to attack bacteria. So if bacteria is attacked by a virus, they have the capability to kill, kill these bacterial cells. So glycocalyx provide protection to the bacterial cells from viruses. They also help in the attachment as we have already discussed that glycocalyx gives a sticky appearance to the cells. So they help in attachment of these bacterial cells to the host organism or the host body. They help in immunogenicity. So what do we mean by immunogenicity? Immunogenicity means they have the capability to trigger immune response in host organism. And most importantly, these layer of glycocalyx, they have virulence characteristics. That means they can cause diseases. So in this video, we have talked about the most outermost layer of a bacterial cell, which is known as glycocalyx. And we have also discussed about some of the important or secondary functions, which it provides to a bacterial cell. So I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.